All right. Hello. Welcome. This is Peter. Good morning. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some contour drawings. I did six total in the sitting here that I recorded, but I actually forgot to record the first one. But you can see all six of them here, a little preview, and we'll get right into it. The assignment was to, that's right, this is it's a little school assignment, right? I um, This is kind of in the middle of another bigger assignment that I did, unrelated to another bigger assignment. It's hard to explain all right now, but look, here's assignment to do. Six contour drawings, the first three blind contour drawings, and the second three observational contour drawings. Blind contour drawings means uh, that you only look at the thing you're drawing and you don't look down at the paper, right? So that first one you saw me draw, it went by really quick. I was looking at my hand, my other, my left hand holding a pencil. Uh, that, that one didn't take very long at all. And this one here is me looking at some air ducts, ducts, it's a hard word to say, ducts up in the, up in the ceiling, right? So I'm not looking at the paper at all for that drawing. Only I look up at the, the object, right? And I'm, I'm like staring at it intently, kind of imagining I'm tracing all of its edges, all of its contours with the pencil as I draw. And before that, the one I didn't record was a, a chair. And you can, I'll, sh I'll show these, I'll show these pictures again at the end of the video. Um, all six of them, because I, anyways. And then I went on to observational contour drawings, which is where you can look at what, look and look at the, both the paper and what you're drawing. Here you can see me drawing uh, my immediate surroundings, like the desks in front of me, and then a little bit of the room out around, um, which was, this more, you know, this is not what I, the type of thing I usually do. Usually I just draw straight from my head instead of straight from my surroundings. Um, it is kind of weird um, how much your surroundings really surround you. Not everything is really out in front of you, right? Like a, a table that is also out in front of me can also be beside me and behind me. So that, that can be very difficult and not uh, immediately apparent, you know, or at least for how I usually draw things. Usually when I draw things, it's just right there, all kind of clumped together in one spot on the paper, right? So, I mean, I feel like I learned a lot just doing this. Here, this one is very interesting for me. I don't know if you can tell what it is already. This is a camcorder, and it happens to be the very same camcorder that is recording the video that you're, wa that you're watching now. And this, seemed, this is very interesting to me just because it seemed very, I don't know, is the word meta? Uh... It's almost as if I'm drawing you. I'm drawing a portrait of the viewer. This is, um, if you were to sit, all of you collectively were to sit for me and I was going to draw you, this is more or less what you would look like because this is how you see all the things I draw. This little device right here, a little camcorder, little knobbly gorilla pod legs. Did you know you have three legs and one eye? and a little screen, and I plug you in, yeah, and you, I have, well, I couldn't draw it as much with the, with the contour drawing, but you have little splotches of paint all over you as well. You're very well used, well loved. Uh, and then for the final observational drawing here, I took one of my boots off and put it on the desk and attempted to draw it, which, uh, the toughest part of this was just the boots. When you really look at them, shoes in general are a strange. They have strange proportions, and uh, you know, even more so when you're looking at all my drawings upside down like this. That's the most difficult part of recording my drawings at school like this. Is I'm used to having a, my my nice uh, horizontal tripod that looks straight down at the paper almost, you know. And here I'm. Hopefully, this isn't too dizzying to look at. Is all I'm saying, from a weird angle. But yeah. I liked how these turn out. You know, it's a lot different than what I normally do. This is just a little assignment for school. And uh, they tell me that, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how they grade these things. If it's, you know, graded. So here's the chair that I did first. It looks pretty cool, I think. Anyways, I'm not sure if they just, you know, give it, you know, like a straight up A or B or whatever, or if they, I feel like that's more of a grade like on how much, you know, you take uh, crit critique and how much you, uh, how hard it looks like you're trying and how much you improve from project to project, stuff like that. So I thought maybe I should like sandbag at the beginning so it, it's easier to make improvements. But no, I couldn't do that. 
Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. This is just a fun little one. Nothing too crazy. All right? All right. Goodbye.